how fast can you find out that cube of which number would be this. In other words, you have to find the cube root of 32768. I am giving you 4 seconds for that and believe me, even that is a luxury for your mind because it should not take you more than 2 seconds. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The correct answer is 32. There it is. Okay, so now let me show you this easy cal trick of finding the cube roots of numbers. Okay, so watch me. That is what my answer is. Was it too fast for you to follow? Alright, so let me explain. Then I assure you, you will be calculating faster than this. Alright, because you would be doing it mentally. I had to write it down for you to see, but you will be doing it mentally. To find the cube root of any number, whose answer lies anywhere between 1 to 100. All you need to do is, see the last digit. If the last digit is 8, then put 2 here and strike out the last 3 digits. Alright, now see the number that is left. All you need to do now is find the number whose cube is nearest to this number. That is, either it is 32 or less than 32. Okay, so which would that number be? 3, isn't it? Because 3 cube is 27 and 27 is near to 32. 4 cube is 64, so it is more than that, so it is out of question. So, all you need to do is find the number whose cube is either equal to this remaining number or less than that. Okay, so let me add here, if the last digit is 8, I told you to replace it with 2. Okay, if the last digit is 8, you replace it with 2. If it's 2, then you replace it with 8. Alright, if it's 7, then you replace it with 3 and vice versa. If it's 3, then replace it with 7. These two are known as conjugate pairs. Alright. All you need to do to find the conjugate pair of 8 is to subtract it from 10. Alright. So, 10 minus 8 is 2. Alright. If you have to find the conjugate pair of 2, then you subtract from 10, 2. So, again you will get 8. Same logic here. If you have to find the conjugate pair of 7, so 10 minus 7 is 3. And for 3, so 10 minus 3 is 7. Are you getting the point? Alright. For any other digit, if the last digit is any other digit other than 8, 2, 7, 3, that is these conjugate pairs, then copy it as it is. That means it's all the more simple. You don't even need to do all that. Okay. Like suppose if the last digit was 6 here, then you'll copy the 6 as it is here. If it was 5 here, you'll copy the 5 as it is. If it's 4 here, you'll copy the 4 as it is here. Are you getting the point? And for the next part, you know what you have to do. You have to find that which is the nearest cube to the remaining number. Alright? So, let's practice more examples of these. Okay. So, now find out what would be the cube root of 79,507. Okay? So, look at the last digit here. It is 7 and you know that 7 is a part of conjugate pair. So, what is the conjugate of 7? 10 minus 7 is 3. Alright. So, write 3 here and immediately strike out the last 3 digits. Okay. Now, look at the number that is left. 79. So, what is the number that has its cube near 79? It is 4. Isn't it? Because 5 cube is 125. It is more than 79. So, the nearest cube that is the cube of a number that is either equal to 79 or it is less than that would be 4. So, the answer is 43. As simple as that. So, now let's try to find the cube root of this number. Alright. So, just look at the last digit. It is 4. And you know that 4 is not part of any conjugate pair. So, copy 4 as it is and strike out the last 3 digits. Alright. Now, look at the number that is left. 157. So, all you need to do is find the number whose cube is either 157 or less than that. So, which would that number be? 
5, isn't it? 5 cube is 125. So, write 5 here. That is what your answer is, 54. Isn't that simple? You can use this trick on your friend. You ask him to think of any number between 1 to 100 and then find the cube of it. You can allow him to use a calculator. All right. So, he'll get a huge number. Now, just ask him to show you that number. And you'll just have a glance at that number and you'll be able to say what was the number he cubed. And he'll be impressed beyond his wits, won't he be? Just try it out and let me know the results. All right. But before you do that, you please memorize the cubes of all the numbers from 1 to 10. And now you have a good reason to do so, isn't it? If you know the cubes of the numbers from 1 to 10, you can very easily find out the cube roots of any number whose value lies between 1 to 100. And if you know the cubes of numbers from 1 to 20, you can take that to 1 to 200, so on and so forth. If you know till 30, then it will go from 1 to 300. But for all practical purposes, knowing the cubes of numbers from 1 to 10 is good enough. Let's practice more examples. Now, you try to impress me with your ability to calculate fast. Find the cube root of this number. Alright? So, have you found it out? Okay. So, let's see. So, the last digit here is 8. And the conjugate of 8 is 2. So, write 2 here and strike out the last 3 digits. Now, you are left with 373. So, what is the number that has its cube near 373? 7, isn't it? So, I write 7 here. The answer is 72. 